good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you are watching this. Today we are talking about those big fluffy things up in the sky. You got it, we're talking about clouds. Now, what exactly is a cloud? When I look at them, I think, what a great place to take a nap. I would just like to lie down on that big, soft, fluffy thing and fall asleep. But I'm pretty sure we can't really do that. Let's learn why. So what exactly is a cloud? A cloud are tiny droplets of water in the air that rise with warm air. As they rise, they get cooler. They combine with other droplets of water to form clouds. So that kind of explains why we wouldn't be able to lie down on those clouds, would fall right through. Now let's look at some facts about different types of clouds. A cloud that lies close to the ground is called fog. I'm sure you've seen it before. I know that I've seen it here in New Zealand, but I've seen lots and lots of fog whilst I've been living in the UK. It normally happens in the morning, but I've seen it at all different times of the day. Clouds reflect light from the sun, which makes them the color white. When clouds become so filled with water, the sun can't reflect through them, and this makes them gray. And then it also tells us it's probably going to rain very soon, just like it is right now. If you see green clouds, this can mean that a tornado is coming, so watch out. Luckily, I can see no green clouds at the moment. Hot exhaust from planes mixed with cold water droplets to make crystals in the sky called contrails. You've probably seen them before when you look up when there's been a plane and you can see a big long line of clouds after them. And I just found out that they're called contrails. All right, let's look at the 10 different types of clouds. These clouds all have very interesting names and I'm going to try and make sure I say them all correctly. And when you read them on the screen, maybe you could have a go at saying them out loud and see if you can say them correctly as well. The first type of cloud is called a cumulus cloud. Cumulus clouds are white and fluffy. Cumulus clouds will appear when it is warm and sunny. These are probably the clouds that you draw most often if you're drawing them on a piece of paper or for a drawing, I know they're the ones that I draw. Cumulonimbus clouds. Cumulonimbus clouds are big, flat clouds that often mean a storm is coming. They are formed by powerful upward currents carrying water vapor to form a cloud. Then we have the cirrus clouds. These ones look so nice and graceful up in the sky. Cirrus clouds are small, wispy clouds high in the sky. These clouds usually mean there will be a change in the weather. That's good to know. I never knew that before. Then there is the cirrostratus clouds. Cirrostratus clouds are thin, high clouds that cover the whole sky. These are sheet-like and often look like ripples. They usually appear if rain or snow is coming. Now it's really warm today, so I can't see any of these outside, so snow is probably not coming the way. Then there's the altostratus clouds. Altostratus clouds sit low in the sky and are either white or gray. They form when snow or rain are coming. Alto cumulus clouds are white and puffy. They often form in rows. They appear in patches in the sky called cloudlets. How cute. Then we have the cirrocumulus clouds. Cirrocumulus clouds sit high in the sky and they look like balls of cotton. They often appear in rows as well. Nimbostratus clouds. Nimbostratus are thick clouds which sit low in the sky. They are gray and often very dark. These clouds bring rain, snow or sleet. Then we have the stratus clouds. Stratus are low level misty clouds. They are usually gray and flat and cover most of the sky. They tend to bring light rain and drizzle. Then we have the stratocumulus clouds. Stratocumulus are large round clouds that can be gray or dark. Sometimes they create a little bit of rain. Whew, 
All right, so those are all the 10 different types of clouds. Hopefully I said all the names correctly. I know that I was a bit of a tongue twister for one of them. What we are going to do now that we've learned all about the different types of clouds is we're going to go outside and we're going to have a look and see what types of clouds we can see at the moment. Now there's going to be lots of different clouds that we can see, especially if we're in different countries or even if we're in different parts of a city or in different parts of a country, we're going to have different clouds above us. So it's all going to be very interesting to see what clouds we can see. Okay, so I'm outside looking at all the clouds around me. There seems to be quite a few clouds in the sky, but maybe you can name them for me. Let's have a look. So there's some in the distance, big, white, fluffy ones. Ooh, I wonder what they could be. Now if you look out, way out, you can see across the ocean are some different kinds of clouds. I wonder what those ones are. And then there's also some other big fluffy ones here. So maybe you could go back in the video, look at all the different names and all the different pictures and see if you can name these ones and then go outside your house and see what clouds you can see. Over the next week, after we've looked at the clouds outside today, I want you to keep track about what clouds you see every single day. I know it's going to change. I know it's going to be a bit different and I want you to take pictures or draw or even write down what clouds you see and you can have a think about which clouds you think you're going to see more often. Is it cumulonimbus? Is it the stratus clouds? Who knows? So maybe you can keep a tally and every day you can go outside and have a look at which clouds you can see. All right, so that's all I've got today to talk about clouds. I hope you have learnt lots. I know that I have as well. And remember that we have got lots of other videos that you can look at to learn about lots of different topics. So I will see you very soon.